During the flight to London, attempt to learn as much as possible from Dr. Schenker about his research. Schenker is a notoriously cautious man, so direct questions are not advised. He is also reported to have little tolerance for skeptics. Try to keep an open mind. Your captain speaking, we have reached a cruising altitude at 24,000 feet and will soon be leaving German airspace. I've turned off the seatbelt and no smoking signs. Feel free to move about the cabin. We'll be arriving in London at approximately 6.15 p.m. local time. The temperature is currently 25 degrees centigrade with clear skies. I think we can expect a lovely, relaxing flight. Let's cut to the chase, shall we? What exactly is it you do, Doctor? Research. Not the sort of thing a layman would be likely to understand. And especially not a laywoman. Perhaps you could distill the basic concepts for me. Perhaps. However, I'm rather tired, so I would prefer to discuss these matters at a later time. Uh, we are in position. You know what to do, Sonny. Yes, sir. Initiating docking procedure and jamming our communications. Get up, laddies! We're going aboard! Pass is lost. I'm not sure. Stay here while I investigate. Keep this door locked. Look, really, we're going to catch you. It's the only man concealing himself this instant. Look, I know you're... Look at <laughs> So much for a lovely relaxing flight. Sleep tight, lassie. You're not going to kill her? What if she wakes up? Now look here, you. I'm not going to butcher a fellow countryman without a specific grudge. If she wakes up, she can fend for herself. If she dies, then she ain't really a Scot, so I won't feel bad. Now, go get that doctor fella and do a final sweep. Take anything that looks important. Papers, files, whiskey, whatever. Yes, sir? Something's not right. All right, let's go. But some of our men are still aboard. Listen to you crying like a wee girl. They'll have to make do, won't they?
Make sure she doesn't land on her feet. Congratulations! You have failed again. Although the circumstances were certainly extraordinary in this case, don't expect much sympathy from command. Unity cannot afford failures, however justifiable. 